Good afternoon. I want to thank everybody who joined us today in the media center of Ukraine. Ukraine Forum is year nine of the war and the ninth month of the full-scale invasion of the Russian aggressor in our land. Now we will have a cultural event. The opening of the photo exhibition on Concord Cities. I want to in introduce our participants. It's Alexander Harchenko, Director General at U Ukraine Forum, Ukrainian National News Agency, Vitaly Saransev, Head of Army Forum News Agency, Stepan Kubiv, Member of the Parliament of Ukraine, and Alexander Svetotsky, Editor-in-Chief of the Law of Ukraine legal journal. So in brief about the photo exhibition, I, I will tell you about the co-organizers. They are Ukraine Forum and Army Inform news agencies, the Holos Ukraine newspaper of Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine, Vasil Stus Memorial, the All Ukrainian NGO and art organization, Art Fund of King Danilo, and Law of Ukraine Legal Journal Editorial, and Mate Charitable Fund. So I want to start, Mr. Alexander, with you. How did this idea emerge? Can you please tell us about this photo exhibition? Good afternoon, dear colleagues. It's the second, as you know, exhibition in these walls. The first one was Warriors of Light, and now it's on Concord Cities, or the uh, Hero Cities. Why so? Why is it so important? Why we think it's so important to show specifically in this context? Because the unconquered nation is not an abstract notion. We know it's people, the warriors who are in the front lines, medics, teachers, all other are people, but at the same time, it, those are the cities, towns, and villages for the Russian world, which came to us on the 24th of February, is just a spot on the map to conquer. And relevantly, some point, has, some spot has a strategic meaning, another is secondary, for us it's different. Those are the places where the hearts of our people are beating, where people are born, where we inspire each other, and we don't have strategic or non-strategic uh, towns or villages, uh, all of them are important for us and we will protect them. And that's why we tell, here we tell about the cities and towns of Ukraine, and we don't only limit ourselves to 10, to 10 cit hero cities named officially now, but all of them are important, many others are important as well because every city is involved in war in its own way, fighting for victory. That's why this concept emerged, this approach emerged to such an exhibition. Please, everyone's invited, love your city, and all our cities are here as Mr. Vitali. I know that your photo correspondence, the pictures of your photo correspondence also are exhibited in this exhibition. Can you please tell us about the process of selection? It's probably very difficult to pick the best of the best because all of them are very powerful. And that tell, tell us how was it happening. Well, looking at these pictures, you know, it's very... Uh, the subject of these pictures, it's hard to say they're best because what's depicted, what could be recorded in those pictures, those are the most awful pages of our recent history, the history of Ukraine. So to say that... It's difficult to convey the e emotions when you get back to these pictures and you relieve something that was happening in, in, in Kiev uh, in the beginning of the invasion or in the places where we were working is the whirlpool of emotions. And uh, I want to thank my colleagues who with no fear went to the epicenter of the events and uh, taking pictures everywhere where, where they could where they 
at, at that moment to where they could get access to. Obviously, we will win this war. It's no second thought about that. It's not to say that I'm proud, but I think that it's very important. We have to document even even the negative side, even the negative pages of our history. We have to pass it on to our next generation so everybody understands what we fight for, who, what uh, we fight against, whom we counter, and how we have to develop and grow. M Mr. Stepan, please, why, why the projects like this are of utmost importance during the war and uh, why they are reported during the war? Glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes, gl glory to the armed forces of Ukraine, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear dear participants of the warfare of the war of Moscow against Ukraine from all the way from 2014 until this very day I represent memorial of, of Vasil Stus and more than 31 years the idea of Ukrainian sovereignty the idea of truth of Ukrainian nation all the Ukrainians of the world who forcibly in the th the 30s or in in reality from 1939 they left but they kept their they kept their national memory the moments of truth the moments of history ukrainian sovereignty the ukrainian and we thank them for this it's more than 65 million ukrainians all over the world and it shows the uh, the strength of Ukrainians, the historic truth. So looking at these pictures when we gather here, uh, specifically Alexander Dmitrovich and thanks to Ukraine, Ukraine Forum and to you as, as the military, we want to thank you for this moment, moment of truth, maybe bitter or maybe with a smile, uh, victorious or maybe the future historic events which will crystallize our nation and our history today we have 3rd of november uh, 2022 and thanks to the investigate investigation efforts taken by memorial and i want to thank the kiev department of memorial headed by yuri balanok present here that 85 years ago on november 3 1937 in karelia urang sandr sandr the Russian authority executed 134 persons, national genius, who were the national resistance 85 years ago. They are Les Kurbas, Valery Pidmohilny, Mikola Kulish, Mikola Zerov, Grigory Epic, and Mikola Kuznyak. Starting from 27 October until 4th of November, Moscow calls by NKVD executed more than 1100 people and there are genius and Christian souls equal in spirits and we talk about Les Kurbas or Valery Pidmohilny and Mikola Kuznyak it, it unites with their their love to Ukraine Mikola Kuznyak there are live uh, witnesses of Ukrainian so sovereignties. For example, you, you, Yuri Balanyuk, you, you were in the front lines. Uh, Yuri's wife did, and deduce is the grandfather of a uh, wife of Mikola Kuznyak. It's the live example of uh, of history. When we look at Izum or Bucha or Host Hostomel, at any picture where where the paw of the bear stepped the paw of katsap of moscal who doesn't believe in humanity in truth who lives with lie and wildness and dislike of life of itself 
And we as organizers of today's event, we wanted to show all these moments of every picture, of every town and city. But I want to say the best for those people who gave their lives in the armed forces of Ukraine, in other armed units, and people's resistance, and people who within 85 years gave their lives for the dignity of Ukrainian nation and for truth, when everybody say fathers of ours, and we we give honors with a minute of silence to those who gave their lives for those who live today. Thank you. Dear colleagues, as to today's exhibition, and next year, um, every Ukrainian city became a center of people's resistance. Every person in a village or town or on active duty organized their spirit, their strength and defense of Ukrainian sovereignty and dignity. The, the, the heaviest destiny for, for the cities located in the uh, east, Chernihiv, Kharkiv, Sumy, and even our capital, Kiev, where nobody expected a resistance like this, resistance and unity of memory and values and preservation of Ukrainian sovereignty. I want to tell you as a member of Memorial that we, since 1999, since 1989, since 2000, we were pulling to the surface this topic that me and Alexander Svetovsky and Levko Lekyaninko and Ivan Draj, Vyacheslav Chernovil and his aides Mikhail Oknev that we depicted in the book Ukrainian Sovereignty. And this book, uh, Unconquered Nation, it's shown here with the thought that unites victory, which unites peace, the strength and resilience of Ukrainian sovereignty, Ukrainian nation, and every Ukrainian person. The cities of Western Ukraine became a powerful rare, and it exists until today. We've shown the unity of humanity and the humans of different nations around Ukraine. Those are European countries of uh, and European and both American continent and Europe and Australia, where every person, every child received the support, received help, aid, the psych psychologically balanced feeling that you have to live for the future. You have to live for the future generations. Today, every town or city in Ukraine is the center of Ukrainian sovereignty, Ukrainian values, Ukrainian future powerful state where the children who are being born today are covered with the hands of the mothers and every mom when they open these hands where they will word father of ours, it's powerful and unsensible feeling of Ukrainians of the whole world united by the nation of the 65 million people. And today, in brief, uh, it, it wouldn't happen. I, I, I want to uh, remember some people, if not uh, Kiev Department of Memorial headed by Kiev Balanyuk, if not the idea of Alexander Dmitrovich, including Svetovsky and Ukraine Forum and you gentlemen, and our joint efforts, if not the support by the Budziev, Prokopiev, Tomashev, Serati, Bachinsky, Pirus families, Ostapiuk, Kisil, Tatarchuk, Nikitin, Kotek, Konek, Chris. Kochu, Mamarkevich, Spaks, 
Кочапський, Гадзала Радченко, Євахів, Мартиняк, Лавренюк, Перевезенцев, Дубас, Моруцький, Ковтон, Журило, Небожук, Перцев, Мечаржак, Шевчук, Лобозюк, Приходько, Пешко, Ставнюк. And I can list more, more and more people. Thank Mikhail Alexeyevich Tepluk and Mikola Shevchuk for the advice we were getting in the legal field for today. They are present too. I want to uh, convince you about one thing. Book 165 by the memorial of Vasil Stus, the third dozen, uh, so, uh, three dozens of books is unfinished history to be continued by our great-grandchildren Glory to Ukraine, we are unconquerable, we are unconquered, and we are, we are strong statesmen, we are strong in our history and Ukrainian sovereignty. Glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. Mr. Alexander, it's not the first exhibition. What is this book about for you specifically, dear Ukrainians? Today is uh, obviously important uh, day, important important part of our initiation uh, initiative that I initiated uh, together with my friends. You can ask them. The people's deputy, like we said, oh, all right, we're uh, you. I was not accepted by the AH, but you, as a people's deputy, you can assist me with this. So they said, do, do your editorial work, and we took it with pleasure. We accepted this initiative with great pleasure in the, just the uh, promotion of our m magazine with uh, this substantial name, Unconquered Nation, Ukrainian War 2014-2020. This name was... Uh, tipped off by the director of the uh, Ukrainian language, Professor Pavlo Hrysenko. Maybe he will come a little bit later. Dear Ukrainians, I would like to diverge a little bit from this subject and touch the uh, following. It's day 253 of the war, of the violent war of Russia against Ukraine. We need to remember that the author, the organizer, And the, the executioner is the bloody Kremlin dictator Putin. We have to understand that he will stop at nothing, and his main goal is total destruction of Ukrainian nation. The elimination of our people as ethnos, and elimination of Ukrainian culture and language, Ukrainian civilization in general and he strives for it and was the reason why such hatred to us to Ukrainians he keeps reiterating and saying in the even in Ukrainian language that we are the one people that that we went from the same root came from the same root that we cannot be divided, we cannot divide our national heroes, and he emphasizes it all the time, that our state was created only in 20th of the, of the, of the, of the century 12, 20, and, and Ulyanov Lenin play, played the key role in that, well, it's lies, it's stupidity, the, that the Russian authorities or either of Russian Empire or a Soviet truth use as the fun fun fundamental truth. So, but why such aspiration to destruction uh, of us as a nation? The, it has a deep root and first of all the historic truth. The historic truth that we touched just during the years of independence, during the Soviet times, it was impossible because KGB was very vigilant in this regard in all the educational institutions, in all the government establishment. Many of us 
passed through this stage, we couldn't touch our history. Now we have accessible books, funds, records, one of the latest books. For example, I with great uh, with great pleasure I read it and I found out a lot of new a book by Volodymyr Belinsky. Unfortunately, he left to eternity this year, but he was not a, his, a historic scientist, but he researched history and he from A to Z, he described everything about the country Moxel or Moscovia. And now the key reason is not the Nazification and the militarization Putin chatters about all the time along with his uh, circle it's about historic truth and historic truth is that 301 year ago on the o october 22 1721 peter the first the moscovian tsar dared not without the ukrainian collaborationists you know um, the, the people who as aspired to uh, exchange their government post from the em emperor they appropriated something that did not belong to them. They appropriated the name Rus and the history of, of Ukrainian Rus. It's indisputable fact as of today and special mythology was created which uh, uh, the writing of which took more than 100 years and, and today they operate with this mythology that we are one people, that there are great Ruses and the uh, small roses, bella roses, so th the trinity of three in one, R Russians, Ukrainians, Belarusians, Moscovia has no, has nothing to do with Rus and to the history of Ukraine and Rus. We are the only descendants of Rus, the powerful, the great state which existed uh, in the centuries 9 to 13 and all the leaders, all the great kings, they have nothing to do with Moscovia. That's why this question is principal, it's a profound issue and is the reason of this hatred of Russians to Ukrainians. And obviously time will come and I'm sure analyzing and observing all these events and I think that all, all in all, victory will be ours. It will come soon, inevitably, and we we have to win because it's the moment of truth. The moment of truth has come, the time that should put things in their places, and God will do this, but it, we will pay a very significant price for this. So the one who doesn't know their history, they're not, they're not decent enough to have their future. Those are the words of uh, Maxim Rilski, and we as, as part in this magazine, just like in all previous ones, Mr. Stepan already told you told you about this that it's not the first magazine. We were doing it for a long time, even though we don't have any. <laughs> like re relation to, to the history, but as as patrons standing in 2004 in Maidan, so Mr. Stepan brought a group of students, uh, a group of employees of Credo Bank. So I said, let's, let's document these events. And we made one of our first uh, photo magazines uh, the Orange Revolution and in 2014 Mr. Stepan was a commandant and I was coming to support him. Then this uh, magazine Maidan was born and as a leader I was uh, uh, interested in the subject of Ukrainian sovereignty. I understood what kind of notion is that. And when uh, Mr. Stepan became the first vice president uh, Prime Minister, I, I told him I don't think that you will transform economy to a large extent, so let's bring 
bring the issue of uh, Ukrainian history, Ukrainian sovereignty. I'm not trying to offend you, but the issue of Ukrainian sovereignty is more important to me because even the first president, Leonid Makarovich Kravchuk, we celebrated 25 years anniversary of Ukrainian independence. I said, why we celebrate 25 years of independence? You were the president. Why didn't you sort things out? He said, well, I, I, I didn't have time for this. I have more time now. But we are saying that Kiev crews, that we are related to them. I told him, okay, call uh, Mr. Stepan Kubiv and let's sort this issue. And after this call, the uh, Belovesh agreement was born and the ma magazine, uh, the photo magazine Ukrainian Sovereignty was born and five years ago we presented it in the University of Kiev, the fundamental magazine Ukrainian Sovereignty. It, the sources and we united our efforts with the Institute of History. It was not a simple story because they have their shortcomings. They have Toloshka, for example, Petro Toloshka, who says that we are the one nation who still asserts it, all those fairy tales. Well, there, there, there is no place for discussion with him. So when this uh, awful war happened, I told Mr. Stepan, like let's let's document this let's take care of this and this is the way that we started our work three months ago having ourselves united with ukraine form with the army in form with the newspaper the whole voice of ukraine we made a number of magazines they were charitable we disseminated them free of charge. This magazine, uh, it requires some expenditures and we have charitable fund who helps us with this. But also I want to express my gratitude to our young designer Feder Polishuk from Rivne. He is present here. Let's award him. Let's, let's award him with this. Feder won, Feder won the contest. I wanted to say a few words. Well, we found Feder and he won the contest in an honest manner. We had Haruk brothers, uh, famous designers, but they were doing a big job in a monetary yard. Uh, we, I, I had my partner Stepan Alexievich with me, we, ha we held a contest and Feder proposed very original concept. We had more than 100 participants and Feder won, having proposed an or original design. We were, we were issuing the photo magazine about the Belov Belovesh uh, agreement. The, destroyed Russian coat of arms. So the, this cover is our our joint creation. We had a number of options, but this is the final final appro finally approved cover of, of the unconquered nation 2014-2022. And it will become a cover of our photo magazine, but we continue to work in a very diligent manner with the pictures. Not all of the photographic posters are posted here. We have 26 pictures that fit in this hall, but we have 36 of them in, in total. They are, and we have uh, our hero cities presented. There are 10 of them. All the regional centers, including Crimea, Luhansk, Donetsk, because they are Ukraine. And the cities, and the cities which suffered, suffered heavily. That, that we, we know this tragedy was happening, a, a horrific tragedy with the population. That's why we don't see all of the pictures here today. But we can, we will be able to see them on the outside. We, the, the, there are 
uh, pictures from the Warriors of Light, our first exhibition. Warriors of Light, this is how we call them. We had the blessing of uh, of our famous poetess Lina Kostenka, who signed them. You can see it on the outside in those photo posters. Those are the pictures of the indeed of the Warriors of Light, and it was opened with the photo correspondent of Azov, Dmitro Kazatsky. And the next subject we're working on, it will be. It will be a very broad topic. It will be devoted to uh, winning and living. I took this name from Pavlo Tichina. He, he has a poem about winning and living. We corrected it a little bit and we will show in a very diligent way, we will show the weapons of victory, or the, the the partners, the partnership for victory. All of our partners, or our international partners, without whose support we wouldn't have been able to win indisputably. Unfortunately, our army was in ruins. R Russia had a purposeful policy implemented by their agents in Ukraine, but now we're renewing it. We will show the kids uh, the, un under the name uh, Mom, I don't want the war. I will show our four port friends. We will show Russian Federation as a terrorist state and the place uh, of general headquarters. And in December, we, we planned it in December so that we can finish and next year we issue we issue the photographic magazine so these are the plans that we have dear ukrainians i would like i would like to mention our faith because the to the extent that we believe we are uh, faithful people we are believers we have to guide ourselves by Christian values because God learns us that the faith faith brings us w what we have. If if uh, seven or eight out of the ten believe, we will have victory. If it will be three of ten, so probably not because uh, Taras, our great Taras, watches us from the skies, from the above, and he told us to hug each other, embrace each other. So we have, we must win to bring him pleasure because now is the moment of truth and his uh, his words as, as a prophet uh, that there will be no conqueror in our land. We have to believe that it will happen that uh, there will be joy in our streets. That's why glory to Ukraine, glory to our armed forces. Ukraine was, is, and it will be glory to the heroes. Mr. Stepan, please compliment. Well, I uh, I will not tell you anything about the Ministry of, of Economy. For the year 1619, everybody felt it and everybody will feel it. I will correct a little bit about the army because starting from 2014, Maidan showed and the creation of army today showed a lot and all this ruin which was happening until 2014. Now we all understand that the army is our security for the future and along with that I would like to greet the uh, our, our artillery and, and rocket troops and engineer corps for celebrating their day. Today is their day, is their holiday because now the war is going on thanks to those cores that I just, I've just mentioned. Winning and Living, we will make that uh, magazine and uh, Ukrainian sovereignty, it, it was 5,000 people involved. We will talk more about that. If we say in, in, on a large scale, we have developed documents, we translate it into English and it will be digitalized. We, we will make it on a level 
currently required by the world and it will be the truth of Ukraine of Ukrainian sovereignty and to finalize it I want to thank everybody I want to add that since 1998 what I started with Alexander Svetotsky, Oleg Nalivaiko, and I'm talking about myself too, and the younger generation, there it was always victory. And that's an axiom. When you win, you want to live, you want to create, you want to inspire and get inspired. Glory to Ukraine, and glory to all of you, glory to the heroes. Dear friends, I want to proceed to maybe questions or just reflections uh, which result from the pictures you've seen. We would also like to thank the photo correspondents for their great job they've done. Microphone, please. We had participation of the majority of the photo correspondents who were taking part in this unconquered cities and conquered Ukraine. It was four of them. Tessia Vasilya, what are their names? Are they present here today? They they are in regions. Serhii Ivanovich, let's let's uh, pass a, a copy of the book to each one of them. Then there was one photo correspondent from Army Inform. We we present another one copy to him. And do we have a representative of Voice of Ukraine here? Yes, yes, we do have. We will present this book to you too. We want to thank you too. Please, let's let's make this present now. Sergei Ivanovich, please. Thank you, thank you. My pleasure. It's a thousand years of history. And here, Sergei Ivanovich, here is for you, please. Uh, get the present for the photo correspondence of Ukrain form. It's a rarity editorial, you know it. And army inform, please. Yes, please pass it on to your photo correspondent. We invite everybody to the e exhibition. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we have questions. Let, let, let's. We. Uh, please, maybe, maybe, may, may we answer the question? Please introduce yourself. Good afternoon, Svetlana Tkachuk, Ukraine Forum. I have uh, two questions to you. First, just a brief one. Do do we plan to uh, make an exhibition like this in uh, in any foreign country somewhere abroad or may maybe the magazine will be shown anywhere in the partner countries or could you specify the criteria you were picking the pictures by because we see that this every small banner has some small key story depicted on it what was for example was the story we can read about uh, kiev it's a triptych Thank you. We, uh, well, the, the, the way we were picking them, Taisya Vasilenko is the representative of Ukraine Forum is here. Thank you, Mr. Taisya, Ms. Taisya. She, she's a writer. And we, and we, in a diligent way, we were picking these pictures with no weekends on Saturdays and Sundays. Your guard was asking, like, what are you doing here? Your security was asking. What was the principle? What were the criteria for selection? Well, one of the question is the ruining, the raising of the cities. The pictures should have depicted the raising of the city. For example, we'll take Kiev. We made a triptych because Kiev is the oldest of all the cities, year 282. Well, maybe it's conditional, formally conditional, but still, it's our oldest city. And in the world and in Ukraine, so we decided to give uh, the central spot to 
to the ra raising the first just damage we left with my wife immediately when the TV tower was damaged we left immediately we've seen it we've seen with our own eyes what happened then we wanted to show the participation of international partners and our president because all the government authorities are concentrated in Kiev and we had to show our president because we know what was the role he played that he didn't get scared he didn't betray our country he didn't betray Ukraine he still leads he heads the country and he uh, managed to establish cooperation to coordinate the cooperation with the international partners a hundred years ago Ukrainian People's Republic was not able to do this and it resulted in defeat when the Bol Bolsheviks conquered Kiev and now our president has good support and uh, obviously it's Johnson, Britain, Duda, Duda Poland, obviously United States just like ever they are friends and uh, President Duda keeps reiterating this and Noseda, the president of Lithuania, a very close friend of Ukraine Prime Minister of Canada Justin Trudeau, the four presidents here of France, Germany, two more countries, the head of United Nations who supports Ukraine and the head of European Union, of European bodies, Ursula von der Leyen. If talking about criteria, it was professional community uh, by Ukraine form and army info the specialists who know how to do it and people who gave their rights to use their pictures and third criteria is the specialization of a of a na narrow specialization of journalistics in international aspects we will work it will be most of all a magazine or maybe three exhibitions it the rays of lights the hero cities and winning and living by the words of Ticino it's a designer thing we give the central picture left side right side as you see there's on, on the left side location of the pictures and the right side location of the pictures well you you, you can see here Lina Kostenka our famous maybe one of the 60s 60s poetess we are proud in this person she re received the highest award by the France there's an ambassador of France who awarded her with this highest award and we we provided this central picture there's a mayor scientists and during the prisoners exchange we see the Dmitro Kozatsky with his mother somewhere there is Mikhail Dianov too because the war is being accompanied by the by perishing of our warriors of light we have a lot of them buried already our warriors and we give honor our Orthodox Church of Ukraine and Ep Epiphany and the chaplains the, 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 this is one of the important topics Mr. Alexander I want to thank you for this wonderful presentations I want to give an opportunity to our guests to come and see these pictures thank you thank you for gathering here i want to thank our speakers for this uh, marvelous photo magazine as to the exhibition abroad yes we plan we plan it indeed and the first exhibition to be uh, made in warsaw and brussels and toronto and washington in ukrainian house now now we can work on this
because uh, gradually it's happening and we have certain work in progress and having completed the most important section winning and living we will think uh, about we'll think about abroad the co-founder of mom i don't want war the co-organizer it already happened in more than 60 countries it was danilo swok we used the very up-to-date digital technology and together with the embassies we showed that we have the method what alexander dmitrovich is talking about now we will digitalize all those pictures and we will have the we will we will have it virtually accessible to all the world with the help of our specialists in IT field, I, th I think we will make it uh, in English, so with, with all the countries who support U Ukraine, the photo magazine is being prepared in both Ukrainian and English, it's a mandatory thing, it, it goes without saying. Obviously, to some extent, there is a subjective factor, but we get advice sometimes maybe it's not enough pictures but we come to private photo correspondence miss svetlana provided us with pictures of, of mikolai for example she provided us with necessary pictures also represented here today and mikolai is represented here with the unique pictures we will change the design in future and only the central pictures will show the tragedy to show the partners who contribute to our victory and and to depict the events that uh, concern us now which accompany the wars thank you mr alexander thanks everybody for visiting I invite everybody to look at these photo pictures. We believe in our armed forces. We continue to work for our victory and glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes. Thank you всім вам, хто прийшов сьогодні, розділив з нами цю подію.